That one court that they played on, that's where we practiced when we began. And it was all dirt. <laughs> so after every practice or during practice, we're breathing up dust and uh, spitting out gnats. I hesitate to actually call it volleyball because Diamond has so much more significance to the Chinese community. It gives our youth the opportunity to be competitive and to be able to do good in a sport that they're good in and one that will, you know, also enhance our, our culture, um, our Asian American culture. So you got the immigrants coming from China uh, into the U.S. And basically it's a, 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 community, a community thing. Uh, it's a way to get together once a year and socialize with all your friends from your villages um, and other parts of Taishan, all right? So in addition to being a competitive event is more socializing. You know, I remember uh, as a kid when I first started Nine Man, uh, all these older guys, they just basically all knew each other from all the different villages. There were no heroes in the, uh, our community. We could never identify with a, a Sandy Koufax or whatnot because that was a different society. So our sports heroes and our cultural heroes were the volleyball players. Nine Man Volleyball as it stands today is part of our culture, part of our heritage. It was started by our fathers, our grandfathers. Um, and, you know, some of us that are of Chinese descent, we want to be able to hand that off to our sons, our grandsons, our granddaughters, and allow them to enjoy this part of our culture, this part of our heritage, and to know what it means to, uh, and why it came into existence. Uh, it's, it's all in, in, our, in our blood, in our heritage, in our culture. <laughs> one, one.